it's Ariana, welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video we are going to be doing a bubble bath test. So I have done a couple different bubble bath tests on my channel before and basically this video is for to see if this is going to react with my skin and see if it gives me eczema. So I do have eczema and I do have very dry skin so I'm always on the hunt for finding an affordable brand that is going to give me a bubble bath that not only has a lot of bubbles but also leaves my skin feeling moisturized, leaves my skin not feeling itchy, not feeling dry and not breaking out in eczema. So I just picked this up at my local drugstore. It was very inexpensive. It was only about seven dollars. So this is the brand Quay or Quo, is that how you say it? It's the Shoppers Drug Mart brand. So it says this is the Sweet Almond Foam Bath with Almond Extract. So I picked this one because Almond Extract sounded like it was going to be very moisturizing. It sounded like it was going to be very calming and very soothing. And I liked, well, I should smell it before I say I liked the smell of it. I do like the smell of it. It smells like almonds. So that's exactly what I assumed it was going to smell like. So it says it is a very light bottle with the writing on the back is white so it's almost very hard to read. So it says <laughs> pour desired amount into bath while water is running. That's literally all it says. In the ingredients it does say that it does have a sulfate in it so it's going to obviously foam and lather. It does have aloe barbados leaf extract in it. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. So aloe vera leaf extract and it does have sweet almond oil in it and it does have a perfume in it. So the perfume is the ingredient in it that I'm going to be mostly paying attention to and seeing if it does react with my skin because I do have eczema. The one thing that I also really like about this brand is it's 100% vegan and also cruelty free. So I got this at my drugstore. Again, it was very inexpensive. It was only like $7. Very, very affordable. And it smells really nice. I also really like the fact that it has like almost like a shimmer in it. It's it's a very pretty color. So I'm gonna bring you guys downstairs and just record it on my phone like I always do for these videos. And we can see if this bubble bath is going to produce bubbles that is sufficient for my liking. And we will see tomorrow morning when I come back on here, well, tomorrow afternoon, I guess, when I'm off work, and see if my body has a reaction in any way and see if it's caused eczema or if it's caused any reaction of any kind. And if it hasn't, then I might have my new favorite bubble bath. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and we can get into this bubble bath business. All right, so my bath is ready. And I have the bubble bath right here, and I'm just gonna pour it in. I said I was gonna get a measuring cup, but I'm not going to. I'm lazy. So, I want a significant amount of bubbles. Alright, so I said upstairs that the smell of it was okay. The smell of it's not my favorite. It does smell really, really kind of fake and perfumey. It does have an almond scent to it, but it does really smell fake. So if you're not really into smells, like perfumey smells, you might not like this bubble bath. But I'm gonna let my bubbles fill and we will see what the bubbles look like in about five minutes. All right, so this is about five minutes later once my bathtub is filled with bubbles. So as you can see, it kind of like gets a lot thinner up here, but there is quite a bit of bubbles at the top where like the tap is obviously. Would say that it made a decent amount of bubbles. I used about that much, so maybe about a quarter of the bottle. Um, so that's pretty much what I always use when I use bubble bath. I like to use a lot because I like a lot of bubbles. So like I said about five minutes ago, the smell of it isn't my favorite. It does have a really strong perfume scent, but it does have an almond scent as well. So it kind of smells good, but doesn't at the same time, if that makes sense. So if you like almonds, you probably will really like the scent of it, but I find that it kind of almost has like a fake almond scent. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna have a bath now. I'm gonna see if this feels good on my skin or not, and I will update you guys once I am done. All right, so this is about half an hour of the bubbles being in the tub, so you can see that they went away really quickly in my very stained pillow. So I would say that this bubble bath definitely doesn't last very long. It smells okay now that it's kind of diffused in the water a little bit, but it still kind of has a really strong perfume scent. But so far, I'm not itchy, so that's a good sign. So I will see you guys in the morning and let you guys know, or I guess the afternoon, and let you guys know what my reaction was, or if there was a reaction, or if I'm good to go. All right, so I am back 24 hours later, basically, because I am done work now, and I am at home. So, to give you guys just my update on this bubble bath, I did say in the video that it does have a really strong perfume scent, which it does, and some of the bubble bath, because I washed my hair last night in the bath, um, it got in my hair, so I do have a really strong perfume scent in my hair. So if you are sensitive to smells and you don't like really artificial kind of perfumey smells, you might not like this bubble bath. I wouldn't recommend washing your hair in the bath with the bubbles if you don't really like strong perfumey scents. But my hair does smell really good. So I'm gonna say that I do like the scent of it. The scent of it does smell really nice and it's just a little bit strong, so keep that in mind. But I do think the smell is nice. 
as for my body, I haven't noticed any new eczema, but I am a little bit itchy today. I'm a little bit more itchy than I usually am. So I do think that this bubble bath probably isn't the best for people who have very sensitive skin like I do. I have very sensitive eczema skin. I have eczema all over my body, that's just how it is, that's how it's always been ever since I was a kid. So this is just a bubble bath that will probably make you a little bit itchy if you do decide to purchase it. But I would say that it's not the worst bubble bath that I've gotten at the drugstore. I have gotten other brands where it has literally caused an almost instant reaction of eczema all over my body and been like huge patches of eczema. Whereas this one is just making me a little bit more itchy and you know what, it could be something else. It could just be my skin is dry right now because it's winter here in Canada. So it might not be this product, but I'm just going off of my 24 hours later how I'm feeling is I'm a little bit itchy today. So keep that in mind if you are going to try this bubble bath. I do think that this bubble bath created a lot of bubbles. It was very nice. As you saw in the video though, it definitely did go away really quickly. So the bubbles probably only last about half an hour. 20 minutes to half an hour and then they start to dissolve really quickly so you may want to add more bubble bath and then add more water to your tub if you like to refill your tub I don't know how long you're having baths for I have baths for about half an hour to an hour so unless I'm really in there for two hours and I'm not feeling great and I want to sit in the bathtub then I probably won't be refilling it and adding bubbles but that is something that you can do if you want extra bubbles I used about a quarter of the bottle so that much of the bubbles and it created a decent amount of bubbles. I would say that there are other brands on the market that you can get that create a lot more bubbles. Like Lush, for example, their bubble bars create crazy amounts of bubbles, but they are a little bit more expensive. So for a cheaper brand at the drugstore where you get a pretty decent amount of product, you get one liter of bubble bath, I would say this is a really good option. If you do have eczema and you do have sensitive skin like me, I would suggest maybe doing a test on this before diving in and using it all over your body um, because you might end up with a reaction. Just keep in mind that my reaction to my skin may not be the same as your reaction to your skin. So this is a little bit disclaimer, this is just how it's working with me in particular and on my skin and my sensitivity reacts to this bubble bath. But everybody's bodies are different, so keep that in mind. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do think that I will continue to use this bubble bath because it's not giving me any crazy reactions. I do think this is a really great option if you are on the market for one liter of bubble bath <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the fact that I am reviewing and going through it with bubble bath then please leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys want me to review in the future because I will definitely take your guys' suggestions into account and I will try to review basically everything you guys ask me to. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!